day we are going to learn how to divide greater numbers. Earlier in the chapter we had an example like this. 62 divided by 5. As you'll remember we have four steps to division. With these greater numbers we're still going to be using these four steps. So they are first divide, second multiply, third subtract, and fourth, bring down. If we have a number to bring down, then we need to start back at step number one again until there's nothing left to bring down. So let's take this example 62 divided by 5. If we have six tens divided by 5, how many could they each get? One. So six divided by 5 is one. Our second step is to multiply. So we multiply that one times 5, which is 5. Third step is to subtract. So 6 subtract 5 is 1. Fourth step is bring down. So we bring down our 2, which gives us 12 now. If we want to think about the place value here, we could really say that we just subtracted 50. Because if we gave away five tens, that would be 50, which would leave us with 12. Once we bring something down, we need to start back over. So we now have that 12. I circled it just to help us know that that's what we have left. So 12 divided by 5. Remember, we always put step 1 up on top of our problem. So 12 divided by 5 is 2. We always have to keep going through our steps. That was just step one. So we got to move on to step two. Step two is to multiply. So that two we just wrote up there, times five equals 10. Third step is to subtract. So 12 subtract 10, which is two. Then we look to see if there's anything we have to bring down. We've divided out our six tens, we've divided out our two twos, and there's nothing left to bring down. So that means we're done. So we've got 12 remainder two. And then we always want to check our work, so I'm going to use multiplication to check. So over here on the right I've already written 12 times 5. That 12 comes from our answer in our 12 remainder two. And our 5 is our divisor. So 12 times 5. First I did the 2 times 5, which is 10. So I put my 1 over there in the tens place and wrote down my 0. 5 times 1 is 5, plus 1 is 6. As we see though, I got 60, and we started with 62. So we need to use that remainder. So we add in that extra 2 that we're remaining, and 60 plus 2 is 62 which is what we started with, so we know we did everything correctly. Here's a problem now with some greater numbers. Here's our steps again, here on the side. Make sure that you have these at the top of your notebook, and I want you to write this one along with me as we go, step by step. So our greater number, we're now into the hundreds, we have 678 divided by 6. So go ahead and write that in your notebook. We're going to just do this step by step. So step 1 is to divide. Remember that goes on top. So we have 600 and 6 groups. So they're each going to get 1. Second step is to multiply. So we just put up our 1, so 1 times 6, which is 6. Third step, subtract. So we're going to subtract 6, subtract 6, which is 0. Fourth step is to bring down. We only bring down one number at a time. So we're going to bring down our tens, which we have seven tens. Since we brought down, we start back at number one. Remember, once again, that we always do this step, put this step on the top. 
and everything else we put down below. And it gets kind of long. That's why it's called long division. So we start again. We have seven tens divided between six groups, six people. So we have seven divided by six. Again is one. I got a little bit ahead of myself. I already put my six down there. So step two is to multiply. So one times six was six. So that green six down there was step two. Next of all, we have step three, which is to subtract. Seven subtract six is one. Then we still have a number we haven't used. We used our six hundreds, our seven tens. We still have those eight ones over there. So we just keep doing these steps over and over until there's nothing left to bring down. So we're going to bring down that 8. Which now gives us 18. So since we brought it down, we start all over again. So if we have 18 divided by 6, that is... That's a little trickier. So let's go over our multiples of 6. We've got 6, we've got 12, 18, 24. We could keep going, but right there we have 18, and 18 is a multiple of 6, so that works out perfect. So 6, 12, 18, that's three sixes. So I'm going to put my 3 up there. That's the first step, so we wrote it up there on top. But that was just step one. We still have to go through all four steps. So step two is multiply. So three times six was 18. Third step, subtract, which was zero. Fourth step is to bring down, but there's nothing left to bring down. So we're done. Our answer is 113. There's no remainders, so we don't need to write a remainder up there. I am going to check my work, though. So 113 times 6, once again that 113 comes from our answer, our quotient, and the 6 is our divisor. So 3 times 6 is 18, carry my 1. 6 times 1 is 6, plus that 1 is 7, and then 6 times 1 is 6. So 678 which is exactly what we started with, so we know we got this right. Okay, one more problem. Got my steps down there. This one's going to be in the thousands, but don't worry. It's just the same exact steps we've been going through all chapter. So once again, write this problem down in your notebook and do it along with me. Soon you're going to be on your own. So we look at our first number, our thousands. We only have one. If I only have one thing, can I split it between eight people? No. So we look at our first two numbers. Um, since eights are a little bit harder, I'm going to go ahead and write my multiples of eight at the bottom. So I've got eight, 16, 24, 32, 40. And I could keep going on. We'll see if, if that'll be enough for now. So, if I have 17, I know that I can give them two eights, um, and step two is to multiply. Two times eight is 16. Third step, subtract. So 17 subtract 16 is one. Fourth step, bring down. Remember, we just bring down one number at a time. So we're just going to bring down that 2, which leaves us with 12. We brought it down, so we got to start over. So step 1 is divide. Remember again that our first step, that division step, we always write that up on top in our quotient. So 12 divided by 8. As I look down at my multiples of 8, I know I have 8. I don't have 16, so 8's all I can get which means I just have 1, 8, and 12. Second step, multiply. 1 times 8 is 8. Third step, subtract. 12 subtract 8 is 4. And then I can still bring something down, my 5. 
since I brought down, I start over again with division. 45 divided by 8. And I'm going to write this on top again. As I look at the bottom of my multiples of 8 that I wrote down, I have 8, 16, 24, 32, 40. Let's write one more down there. I've got 48. But I don't have 48. I only have 45. So I guess I didn't really need that. So all we need to do is to get to 40, which was 5, 8. So I'm going to write that at the top. Second step, multiply. 5 times 8 was 40. Third step, subtract, which is 5. Nothing left to bring down, so we're done. We've got a remainder of 5. I always like to make sure that my remainder is less than my divisor, which is 8. So 5 is less than 8, so we know we're good. If I ever had a number that was bigger than 8, I'd know that I could give out more of those things. So um, we're good with 5. So I write my remainder 5 at the top. I'm going to check my work. So 215 times 8. 8 times 5 is 40. 1 times 8 is 8. Plus 4 is 12. 8 times 2 is 16. Plus that 1 is 17. And I still have my remainder of 5. I circled it up there at the top. So I need to add that in. It's so plus 5, which is 1,725 which is exactly what I started with, which is good. Okay, I want you to write this problem down, 568 divided by 4. Now that we've done 2 together, I want you to do this one on your own. So pause this video, and then when you're done, I want you to check back and see if you did everything correctly. Be sure if you get stuck, to look at your steps at the top of your notebook and to make sure you've done every single step. Remember to write that first step of divide on top. That's your quotient. And everything else will go down below. Go ahead and pause now. Okay, hopefully you're done. So here we go. Okay, you should have got 142. Here's your second problem. 1,234. Same thing. Go ahead and pause. When you're done, check back to see if you got it all right. You may need to pause it again since it comes on really quickly to make sure you really got every single step right. Go ahead and pause. Okay, so here we go. 246, remainder 4. If you got both of these right, you're ready to go. Um, if you didn't, you may want to go back and watch a couple of the examples again real quick. If you got them right, we've got four more problems for you to do. These four problems, I'm not going to go through and show you the answers. We're going to correct them tomorrow in class. So go ahead and write these four problems in your notebook. When you get to school tomorrow, we're going to go over these four and make sure you're getting it right. So the first problem is 457 divided by 2. Second problem is 1,862 divided by 3. Third, 825 divided by 7. And number four, 2,033 divided by six. Bring this to class tomorrow, and we'll see how you did.